Hi everyone, my name is Yelis and tonight I'm going to be teaching a 60 minute slow flow. Um, we're going to be focusing on some of the foundations of Hatha and Vinyasa. So this is a great class if you're not super familiar with Hatha and Vinyasa yoga, kind of building up from the bottom, or if you're a more experienced practitioner, getting a tune up and really focusing on the alignment of different poses. Um, so we're going to start in easy pose or Sukhasana. I like to sit up on the edge of a blanket to allow my hip flexors to open and allow a little bit more space for my thighs to waterfall down to the earth. So if you have my playlist or using music, go ahead and start that now. And as you're ready, coming to find a nice tall spine, finding length up through the crown of your head, letting your shoulders roll back down your spine. Just taking a deep breath in through your nose and out through an open mouth, allowing your eyes to close. And taking a moment to tune into the space, noticing how your body feels at the beginning of this practice. As you're ready, we'll start to cultivate a deep diaphragmatic breathing. Taking a three part breath. So you inhale to fill your belly, inhale to fill your lower ribs, finally upper ribs, and then exhale from upper ribs, lower ribs, and belly. And letting your body find a natural rhythm in that breath. And do it long day, inhales and exhales. Maybe finding a moment to pause for breath retention or kumbhaka at the top and bottom of each breath. This three part breathing is often considered the foundation of all of our yoga pranayama or breath practice. And it's a great thing to carry through virtually any practice. And to find as much space on the inhales, as much release on the exhales. Notice how your belly and ribs expand in all directions, your front body, back body, right side body, and left side body. If you're more comfortable staying here, this is a great thing to carry throughout your practice. Otherwise, we're gonna start taking a jai breath. This is a victorious breath. It's an audible breath and it's used throughout Hatha and Vinyasa practices to coordinate rest and movement and to find power in your movements. If you know where you're going, feel free to go ahead. Otherwise, taking a deep inhale through your nose. And then exhale through an open mouth as if you're fogging up a window. Eventually the lips close and using that sensation of tension in the back of your throat, finding that same feeling on both of your inhales and your exhales through your nose. an oceanic sound, and allowing that sound to help you coordinate your movement to your breath as you allow the breath to lead you throughout this practice. We're here for a few more minutes, taking whatever breath you're taking. Regardless, still thinking of filling completely, maybe pausing at the top for a moment and exhaling completely.
As you're ready, take one more inhale through your nose. And with your exhale, allow your eyes to flutter open, coming back into the space. And as you're ready, we'll walk left fingertips out to the left side of your mat. And inhale, right arm up overhead, finding a nice side body stretch in the right side of your body. Trying to lengthen through your fingertips. And maintaining space in left side body as if you're bending over something. As you feel weight shifting out of your right hip, energetically driving it back down to the mat. And I'm using the breath to find more extension on your inhales and more release and grounding on your exhales. We'll be here for one more inhale and one more exhale. Inhale to rise back up through center, releasing right hand down to the side of your mat. And we'll take the same thing to the other side, walking right fingertips out and inhale, left arm up overhead, stretching long through your fingertips. Maybe bending the right elbow very slightly, thinking of opening up the right, the left side of your lib, rib cage. Breathing into this stretch as you feel weight shifting out of your left hip, driving it back down into the earth. You maybe start to notice how this position changes your breath. We'll stay for one more inhale and add one more exhale. Inhale to find even more length for your fingertips coming up through center and releasing your left arm into the side of your body. Inhale, we'll take both arms up overhead, wiggling right fingers for orientation. We'll exhale to find right hand onto left knee, finding a gentle twist. Gaze can shift over your left shoulder as you find that ringing out sensation in your spine. Trying to find an even twist from your tailbone to the crown of your head. Maybe thinking of pulling your pelvis back towards the front of the space as you maintain the twist with a feeling of moving your right shoulder blade away from your spine and left shoulder blade towards your spine. Finding length on inhales and deepening your twist on every exhale. Again, maybe noticing how this changes the breath sensation of your inhales and exhales. We're here for one more inhale. Exhale just a little bit deeper. And inhale, we come back to center, shaking the same thing to the other side. Inhale, both arms up overhead. Now wiggling left fingers for orientation. We find left hand to right knee coming into a twist. You can shift back behind you over your right shoulder as you spiral your navel back towards the front of the space. Pulling left shoulder blade away from the spine, right shoulder blade toward your spine. On your inhale, can you grow a little taller up through the crown of your head? And exhale, twist a little deeper. Using the breath to find more mobility in this position. Let's stay here for one more inhale. And one more exhale. And inhale to come back through center. As you're ready, we'll come over your ankles or you can swing your legs around, coming into tabletop pose. We'll set this up nice and strong, finding wrists directly under shoulders and knees directly on their hips. We're going to take a couple rounds of cat and cow. As you're ready, inhale to release belly to earth, opening your chest extending up through your head, gaze shifting up. Exhale to press the floor away, rounding your back, chin to chest for catch. Inhale, opening your shoulders, allowing your tailbone to dial up towards the sky, opening through front body. And exhale, pressing the floor away strongly, curling your chin towards your chest. 
Let the breath be the guide of the movement here. As you move as fast or as slow as feels good to you. Optionally, taking any other movement here, maybe taking some C shapes, looking over left shoulder at left hip, and then over right shoulder, bringing right shoulder to left to right hip. Or taking any other wiggles here that feel good in your body. Be here for just a few more breaths. On your next inhale, come to find a nice neutral tabletop. And on your exhale, sink your hips back towards your heels, coming into child's pose. Release your head to the mat, allowing your heart to mount towards the earth. Finding deep breaths here. Noticing how it changes, maybe feeling breath now more in your back body. Already coming up onto tented fingers as you energize through your arms, we'll walk the fingers over to the left side of your mat for a side body stretch here. Maybe right hand comes on top of left as you exhale to fold down into the floor. Noticing what you feel, sensation here as you stay for an inhale and an exhale. Inhale, walking hands through center. We'll go all the way over to the right side of your mat. Now maybe finding left hand on top of right and melting forehead down towards earth. Finding extra length in the left side body here. Your breath is still flowing. On your inhale, we come back through center, child's pose. Take one more minute with active arms, allowing your head to release down to the floor. Elbows are straight, lifting up off the earth. Take an inhale and an exhale. On your inhale, roll up through your spine, coming back into tabletop pose. Take a moment to set up this pose, making sure that the alignment of your shoulders over your wrists and hips over knees is nice and strong. On your inhale, extend right leg back behind you and take a moment to press into that ankle, finding a little bit of stretch and mobility in the back of the leg. Stay here for a breath. And on your next inhale, float right leg up off of the mat. Stay for an exhale. On your next inhale, maybe left arm floats up off the mat. Maybe you just stay with both hands on the ground. That's a great option to stay for an inhale here. Exhale, thinking right knee to left elbow, press the floor away. Inhale to extend out, finding length through fingertips and through the bottom of your right foot as if you were stepping on the wall behind you. Stay here for one more inhale. And exhale, releasing everything back to the mat. We'll take that to the other side. Inhale to extend, left leg out behind you. Taking a moment to press into that ankle, finding a little bit of stretch and mobility. And as you're ready, inhale to lift left leg off the floor. We suspend for the exhale. Inhale, optionally lifting right hand up off the floor, thumb pointing up to the ceiling. Stay for a breath. Inhale here, exhale, elbow to knee, pressing the floor away, rounding the back. Inhale to extend through fingertips and through the bottom of your left foot. Stay for an inhale. Exhale, everything releases back to the earth. Coming to find your tabletop again. Maybe you take a couple more rounds of cotton cow if that feels good in your back. Otherwise, take your hands a few inches forward and out to the sides of your mat. Give you a little bit of extra support and stability here. 
just pressing your finger pads down to the floor. So if you could create a space under the palms of your hands, finding that strength spiraling up to your shoulders and also finding your belly button hugging towards your spine, engaging that to find stability throughout the practice. Stay here for an inhale and exhale to tuck your toes, press the floor away, hover the knees. Finding that stability in your shoulders. Stay for an inhale. Exhale, deeply bend your knees, shooting your hips up to the sky as we go towards downward facing dog. Allow your knees to stay as bent as you need for your hips to be pointing up towards the sky. This is the first downward facing dog of the day, so it may not be your most mobile. As you are generating more heat, this pose will probably open up more. As you arrive here, maybe taking some conscious movement, pedaling through your feet, maybe rotating one knee and then the other in towards the midline of the mat, or just taking a deep bend in both knees, allowing the hips to point up a little bit further towards the sky. Eventually find a moment of stillness, clawing your finger pads into the floor for stability. Take a moment to breathe here. Inhale, rising up high on your toes, look to the front of your mat and at the bottom of your exhale, take tiny steps to meet your hands at the front of your mat for Uttanasana, forward fold. Finding opposite hand to opposite elbow for ragdoll pose. Take a few breaths here. Let head, neck and shoulders be heavy towards the earth as maybe you take some swaying from one side to the other. Take an inhale here and on your exhale, let everything go. As you're ready, releasing hands to the earth, deeply bend your knees and slowly roll up to Tadasana Mountain Pose. Coming to stand strong, finding all four corners of your feet to the mat, open through your shoulders, allowing your shoulder blades to roll down your back and finding energy into your fingertips to the floor. As we start to flow, you might want to find blocks nearby. If you don't have any, stacks of books also work very well. Or you can do it just through the floor. Those are all great options. As you're ready, finding that Tadasana Mountain Pose. Inhale, arms sweep up overhead for Urdhva Hastasana, upward salute. Exhale, deeply bend your knees, swan dive forward. Hands come maybe to blocks or maybe to the floor. Inhale. To come up to a flat back, extending through crown of your head and tailbone. Exhale to fold, bending your knees, letting your spine waterfall down towards the earth. If you're using blocks, move them back a few inches. Inhale, just take a large right step back into a runner's lunge. Open through your chest and find stability in your legs as if you could hover hands up off the floor. Stay here for an inhale. And an exhale. Inhale, exhale. Right knee to earth, pressing into blocks. Open your chest, rounding, finding a slight back bend here. Opening through your throat. If you don't have blocks, maybe clasping hands behind your back. Finding a back bend there for a slightly more advanced option. As you're ready, inhale, tucking back toes and extend through back leg, energizing it up back into your runner's lunge. On your exhale, deeply bend your back leg and take a large right step forward into your forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, finding a flat back, extending through crown of the head. Exhale to fold. Inhale, grounding through your feet, reverse swan dive, arms come up overhead, upward salute, and exhale, hands to heart center. We'll take that right to the other side. Inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, deeply bend your knees, swan dive forward, hands come to blocks to the floor. Inhale, halfway lift, finding a flat back. Exhale to fold. 
Moving our blocks back a couple inches, take a large left step back into a runner's lunge. Support through your hips as if you could hover your hands up off the mat or blocks. Stay here for an inhale and exhale to release your knee and foot down to the mat. Press into your blocks to open through your chest, finding length in your throat. Breath is flowing here. On your next inhale, tuck your left toes and interject through your leg, coming back up into a runner's lunge. As you're ready, bending into back knee, exhale to step forward to the front of your mat, back into forward fold. Release head, neck, and shoulders. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale to fold. Grounding through your feet. Inhale, arms rise up overhead. Exhale, hands to heart center. You're welcome to continue using blocks throughout the rest of class if that feels good to you. Otherwise, moving blocks to the side. Inhale, arms up overhead, upward salute. Exhale, deeply bend your knees, forward fold. Hands come to the mat, fingertips. Inhale, coming to fingertips or hands to leg. Fat flatten your back, pulling your navel up towards the sky. Exhale to fold. Take a large right step back into your runner's lunge. Maintaining stable hips, opening through your chest. Stay for an inhale. Exhale to release knee and foot down to the mat. Inhale, arms up overhead. Onto my awesome knee down crescent. And there's arcing strongly through your fingertips. We'll be here for a few breaths. Using that Ujjayi breath. Finding even more length through fingertips on every inhale and thinking a little bit deeper into the stretch with each exhale. Stay here for one more inhale. Exhale, hands come to the mat, extend through front, leg coming into Ardha Hanumanasana, half split. Trying to extend through your crown of your head to aim for a straight back. Bringing hands maybe to the floor, maybe to blocks, maybe to fingertips. Okay, for a breath here. Keeping your neck long through the front and back of your neck. On your next inhale, shifting back forward into that knee down lunge. Inhale to tuck back toes, energize through back leg and take a large left step back into plank pose. Find a straight line from your heels all the way to the crown of your head. Pressing the floor away again, pressing finger pads down into the floor. Biceps rotate forward, stay for an inhale. Exhale to release knees and feet down to the mat and slowly lower chest, chin, and belly all the way down to the earth. Hands replace under shoulders. Inhale to peel your body up off the mat, cobra pose. Pelvis is heavy. Kneecaps and big toenails are touching the floor. We're using shoulder blades together. Exhale to release down to the mat. Inhale through tabletop. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a breath here. Noticing maybe if this pulse has already opened up a little bit more for you. Again, taking as big of a bend in your knees as you'd like. Inhale, raising right leg up over the mat. Exhale to take a large right step forward in between your legs, coming back to your runner's lunge. Send your gaze out in front of your mat. And you stay here for a breath. Take an inhale, exhale to release knee and foot to the ground. Inhale, arms overhead. Anjanayasana, knee down crescent. Exhale, hands come to the mat. Energize the your bag leg. Take a large left step forward to the front of your mat. Forward fold. Inhale, coming to fingertips or hands to legs. Halfway lift. Exhale to fold. Inhale, grounding to your feet, arms overhead, upward salute. Exhale, hands to heart center. We're going right into the other side. Inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, deeply bend your knees, swan dive forward. Forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, Ardha Uttanasana, coming to fingertips or hands to legs. Exhale to fold, take a large left step back into runner's lunge. Open through your chest, 
allow your gaze to go in front of the, your mat. Stay for it, inhale. Exhale to release knee and toes to the earth. Inhale, arms up overhead, onto my ass and the knee down crescent. Finding lots of length up through your fingertips. Finding a small back bend here as well. Your gaze is up. Finding more length on every inhale and more stretch on every exhale. Keeping this active in your legs. Maybe pressing your back foot down into the floor. Stay for one more inhale. Exhale, hands come down to the mat, shifting back, coming into Ardo Hanumanasana, half split. Extending to your spine, finding a stretch here. You think of finding your hips level. Thinking of pulling right hip back and left hip forward. As you breathe into this pose, if you tend to hyperextend into joints, maybe pressing right heel into the mat to find a micro bend in that knee. Breathe. You can inhale here and on your exhale, shifting back forward into your knee down lunge. Inhale to energize through your back leg and exhale, step back, plank pose. Stay here for a breath. Pressing the floor away, finding that straight line from your heels to the crown of your head. Gaze is in front of your mat. Stay for an inhale. Exhale, knees and feet release to the floor. Lower chest, chin, and finally belly down to the earth. Reset, hands under shoulders. Inhale, peeling body up off the floor, cobra pose. Can you traction elbows back to your hips? Squeezing elbows into the sides of your body. You open through your chest. Exhale, releasing all the way down to the mat. Inhale through tabletop. And exhale, downward facing dog. Pressing evenly into hands and feet. Take a breath here. Inhale to float left leg off off the mat. And exhale to take a large left step forward into runner's lunge. Again, gaze is in front of your mat. Stay for an inhale. Exhale, release knee and foot down to the mat. Inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, hands come down to the mat. Inhale, energize through your back leg. Take a large right step forward to forward fold. Exhale to release. Inhale, halfway lift, coming to fingertips or hands to legs, exhale to fold, grounding through your feet, inhale, arms overhead, upward salute, exhale, hands to heart center, stay here for a breath, noticing the effect of that on your body, the heat that you've been generating, and as you're ready, inhale, arms up overhead, exhale, swan deck, forward, forward, fold, Take a moment in your forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale to fold, step back, plank pose. I'm going to cue continuing with knees down to cobra. If chaturanga to upward facing dog is part of your practice and is calling to you, feel free to take that variation. Otherwise, stay for one more inhale. Exhale, release knees and feet to the earth and lower chest, chin, and finally belly to the earth. Replacing hands under shoulders, inhale, coming up, cobra pose. Open through your chest. Exhale, releasing down to the mat. Inhale through tabletop, exhale, downward facing dog. Take a few breaths either in downward facing dog or child's pose. Maybe take a sip of water here. Taking a moment to find breath in a restorative or neutralizing nature. And as we're ready, we'll all meet back in a downward facing dog. 
feeling your heart melting through your arms, heels reaching towards the earth as hips still dial up towards the sky. On your inhale, lift right leg up off the earth. And on your exhale, take a large right step forward in between your hands for a runner's lunge. Spiral your back heel down so that your heels are in line or slightly wider to each other. We're going into warrior one, ground through your legs coming up, arms sweep up overhead, finding a deep bend in your front knee. You think of dropping your tailbone down your spine as you find lots of length and energy up into your fingers. Breathing here. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Take one more inhale. Exhale. Hands come to the back of your body. Inhale, finding a little back bend here as hands clasp. Exhale to fold forward, coming into humble warrior. Let your hands drop over your head, letting gravity carry them and pulling them gently down towards the earth. Maintain strength in both of your legs, pressing both into the floor, keeping a micro bend in your back knee for stability. We'll be here for one more inhale. And one more exhale, inhale, arms come up overhead, back into warrior one, fierce warrior one. Exhale, hands come down to the mat, turn your back toes down and step back into plank pose. Take your variation of knees down cobra or chaturanga to up dog. We meet in downward facing dog. Finding a neutral downward facing dog. You press into hands. Finding some breath here. Inhale, lifting left leg up off the earth. Exhale to take a large left step forward between your hands. Spiral back heel down to the mat for coming up into warrior one. Inhale, arms overhead. Maybe taking legs wide like on train tracks for stability. Classically, heels are in line with each other. But there is the option to take legs further apart. Take a deep bend in your front knee, trying to stack knee on top of ankle. As you breathe here, letting your shoulders release away from ears. Stay for an inhale. Exhale to release hands down by your sides, crossing them behind your back. Coming into a little back bend here, squeezing shoulder blades together. Stay for an inhale and exhale to fold over your leg, humble warrior. Release your head down to the earth as hands. Release over your head, allowing gravity to gently press them down to the earth. Again, finding a micro bend in the back knee for stability. Maintaining strength in both of your feet. Stay for a breath in and a breath out. Inhale, arms sweep up overhead, warrior one. Finding that fierce warrior, stacking knee over ankle. Stay for one more inhale. Exhale, hands meet the mat, dial back toes down to the earth and step back, plank pose. Take a breath. Can you find a place of rest in these challenging poses that you're holding? Stay for an inhale. Exhale, release knees and feet and lower all the way down to your belly. Inhale, curl the pose, peeling up off the floor. Hugging elbows into your sides. Exhale to release all the way down to the mat. Inhale through tabletop. And exhale downward facing dog. Take a moment of breath here. Maybe pedaling through feet. As you're ready, step feet together at the back of your mat so big toes touch. Inhale to lift right leg up off the earth, stacking hip on top of hip. 
find an even weight in both of your hands as if there's a puff of air under your left armpit. Stay for an inhale. Exhale to take a large right step forward between your hands. Your foot should be directly in the center of your mat. As you're ready, spiral back heel down, finding your front heel to the center of your back foot in line in the middle of your mat. Deeply bend into your front knees, inhale to rise, exhale to settle, warrior two. Finding a 90 degree bend in the front knee. Hips are opening to the side, maybe at a slight diagonal. Can you let your tailbone water fall down towards the earth? As you breathe in and breathe out. Keep your breath flowing. Optionally lifting front heel to make it a little bit more challenging. Inhale to reverse your warrior. Finding maybe a left hand to your leg or behind your back. And exhale, coming to side angle pose. A number of options here. Maybe you come elbow to knee. This is what you see most often in Hatha and Vinyasa classes, and it's a great place to stay. Maybe you open arms wide, extending up through left fingers. Maybe you go for the bind, wrapping right arm under right leg, clasping hands behind you, wherever you are. We'll take a few more breaths. for one more inhale, one more exhale. Inhale to extend back out, coming back into a full side angle if you were bound. Inhale to rise, exhale, warrior two. Inhale, straightening front knee, reverse, coming into reverse triangle here. Exhale, bending into your knee, cartwheel arms down to the earth. Rotate back, leg down, and step back into plank pose. Extending through your crown of your head, opening through your shoulders, stay for an inhale. Exhale to really sneeze and feet to the ground and slowly lower all the way to your belly. Inhale, peeling up off the earth, cobra pose. Finding a nice back bend. Exhale, coming all the way down to the earth. Inhale through tabletop, exhale, downward facing dog. This is our last section of flow as we take it to the other side. Stepping your feet together at the back of your mat, big toe stretch. Inhale to float left leg up off the ground. Left hip stacks on top of right. Maintain equal weight in your hands as if there's a puff of air under your right shoulder, keeping it stable. Breathe here. Stay for an inhale. Exhale to take a large left step forward to the front of your mat. Your stance is very wide here, spiraling back heel down to the earth. Deeply bend into front knee. Inhale to rise, exhale, settle for your two. Again, can you find length in your spine by letting your tailbone water fall down to the earth? Find stability in both legs, pressing your back leg as if you were scissoring your legs together energetically trying to pull them closer to each other. Breathing here. On your next inhale, reverse your warrior. Hand comes to leg or behind your back. Exhale to side angle. Maybe elbow comes to knee. Maybe you extend. Finding left hand to the floor or to a block. Or maybe you take the bind here, wrapping around left leg. And opening through your rib cage. On your next inhale, extending back up wherever you are to side angle pose. Inhale, coming up to warrior two. Exhale, settle. Inhale, straight in front leg. Coming to a reverse triangle now. 
for a breath in. Exhale, cartwheeling hands to the earth. Turn your back foot down, step back, plank pose. Breathe here. Stay for an inhale. Exhale, release knees and feet to the earth and lower all the way down to your belly. Inhale, press up Cobra Pose. Exhale to fold. Inhale through tabletop. Exhale, downward facing dog. Release your head and neck. As we're in the last downward dog of the day, notice how it's changed since the beginning of this practice. If it's more open, or more comfortable. On your inhale, rise up hand to your toes, look to the front of the mat. And at the bottom of your exhale, step between your hands at the front of your mat for a forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale to fold. Inhale, ground through your feet, arms come up overhead, upward salute. Exhale, hands to heart center. We've done warrior one and two. We're going to move into warrior three for our last couple active postures. Kind of step your feet together at the front of your mat so big toes touch. On your inhale, deeply bend your knees, sinking hips back. We're coming into chair pose. Your toes are free as if they could lift up off the mat. Allowing your inhale to find extra length up through your fingertips. And exhale to sit a little deeper. Squeezing your legs together for stability. Take for one more inhale and one more exhale. On your inhale, tap your right foot back behind you. And as you're ready, slowly tilt forward, coming into warrior three. Maybe finding hands to blocks or to heart center, whatever feels most stable to you. Breathe here. Stay for one more inhale, one more exhale. Inhale, release back knee to the floor. We're coming into crescent lunge. Extending through fingertips. Exhale, hands to the floor. Bend your back knee. Step forward to the front of your mat. Forward fold. Notice any differences between right and left side body as we take the other side. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale to fold. Inhale, grounding through feet, arms come up overhead. Upward salute. Exhale, hands to heart center. We're taking the same thing now to the left. Come to find your feet together at the top of your mat, big toes touch. Finding lots of length here. On your inhale, sink your hips down deep, arms float up overhead. Toes are free as if they could lift up off the mat. Okay, for an inhale, exhale, sink a little deeper. Breathing here. On your next inhale, top left foot back and slowly tip forward to warrior three. Maybe hands come to blocks or to a heart center, whatever feels good. Stay here for another breath in and out. Inhale, step your left foot back, coming into crescent lunge, finding a slight back bend, arms overhead. Exhale, hands to the mat, bend your back knees and step forward to the front of your mat, forward fold. Take a moment to luxuriate into this fold, bending your knees, letting everything relax here. Maybe bending into one knee and then the other. And as you're ready, heel toe your legs so that they are wide to the edges of your mat. Toes are slightly wider than your heels. Stay for an inhale on your exhale, sink your hips down deep. We're coming into Malasana Yogi Squat. Maybe taking some wiggles to come into this pose. As you're ready, finding elbows to knees with hands at heart center. If you'd like to find blocks or blankets under your hips, that's a great option. Otherwise, finding length in your spine here as you press 
energetically elbows and knees into each other to activate the pose, opening through your chest, thinking of sinking tailbone down to the earth. Maybe trying not to release all the way down into the pose, but rather keep the hips slightly lifted as if you could stand back up from here. Breathing here. Take one more inhale. And an exhale, release your hands and slowly release your hips down to the earth. We're coming to sit with your feet on the earth, knees point up. We're going to move into a variation of Navasana boat pose. Maybe you stay here gently floating the tips of your toes up off the floor as you roll back over your tailbone. Hands can stay under your legs for support. Maybe your legs come to 90 degrees. Maybe arms extend long, maybe legs extend long. If you're really feeling it, maybe arms come up overhead. Engage Uddiyana Bandha strongly, pulling navel down towards spine as you find length in your back and legs. Breathing here. Stay for one more inhale, find even more length in your spine. Exhale, coming down to low boat, hands in front, legs long, and exhale, releasing everything down to the earth. As you're ready, bending knees, so feet plant on the earth. Take a moment, maybe, windshield by praying your knees from one side to the other. We're gonna just take one uh, round of bridge pose here. So planting your feet down to the mat, finding your shoulder blades tucked under your spine. Hands can come to either side of you, palms face down. As you inhale, press your feet into the earth, lift your hips as high as you can. Maybe hands come to clasp behind your back for a little extra stretch. Taking some breath here. As you inhale, can you lift your hips even higher, pressing the earth away, finding a back bend. When you're in this pose, don't turn your head to either side, taking it straight up to the ceiling to protect your neck. Breathe here. Stay for one more inhale, lift your hips a little bit higher. And exhale to release hips down to the earth. Release your shoulder blades. And before you curl your knees into your chest, take a moment to breathe here. As you're ready, take your knees wide as you hug them towards your chest, thinking like a wide-legged child's pose on her back. Hands can come to knees as you find a straight back for a spinal neutralizer here. Maybe you stay here or come to happy baby, finding hands to the outsides or insides of your feet. Keeping your tailbone rooted down to the earth. Maybe shifting a little bit from side to side here. Breath is still flowing. Take a nice deep breath in and exhale to release the grip on your feet and to use your hands to collect your knees and give them a little squeeze into your chest. As you exhale, releasing feet down to the earth, knees pointing up. If you have a strap nearby and would like to use it, go ahead and grab that. Otherwise, it's perfectly fine to do this without a strap. Finding, if you have a strap, finding it to the ball of your foot as you extend the leg along. Finding one hand on either side of the strap Coming into a hamstring stretch here. Optionally keeping left knee bent or extending it long. Finding energy for your foot, keeping toes pointed up to the ceiling. Wherever you are, finding some space to breathe here. Pressing into the strap or maybe your hands are behind your leg at any place. Wherever you are, finding some resistance against your hands or the strap. 
activate the stretch. As you're ready, bring both sides of the strap to your right hand or just take your leg into your right hand. And exhale to slowly open your right leg out to the right side, only as far as you feel comfortable. Maybe left hand comes to the left hip to gently guide it down towards the mat. As you open through your right inner thigh. Take a moment to breathe here. An inhale and an exhale. Inhale to bring leg back up to the sky. Now transferring the strap into your left hand and allowing your leg to cross over your body just a couple inches. You probably won't get much range of motion here. This is a much more intense stretch. Just holding here for a breath. Inhale, bring leg back up to center and exhale to release the strap. Finding both feet to the earth, we'll take that to the other side, finding the strap to the ball of your left foot and extending it up towards the ceiling, coming into a hamstring stretch. Maybe you stay here or lengthen right leg long. Gently press into the strap to activate the stretch. You breathe here. Using our exhales to release deeper into the stretch. Stay for an inhale, exhale. Strap comes to left hand as you slowly open to the left side. Maybe your right hand comes to right hip, guiding it down towards the mat. Opening through your left inner thigh. No need to take too much range of motion here, only as far as you feel good. Staying for a couple more breaths. On your next inhale, bringing leg up through center. Now switching your grips so that the strap is in your right hand. Gently cross leg over to the right side of your body. Only a couple inches, keeping your left hip glued down to the mat. Just be here for a breath in and a breath out. Inhale, bring left leg back up through center, release the strap from around your foot and set it to the side. Again, bringing both knees to point up to the sky. As you're ready, come to cross right ankle over left knee. Take a moment to press the right knee away with your hands. Maybe you stay here, this is a great place to stay. Or maybe you come to pull left knee into your chest. Hands can wrap around your shin or left thigh. To find a figure four stretch, opening right hip. When you're there, maybe pressing energetically into your left knee with your right ankle to activate the stretch. Stay for one more inhale and exhale to release left foot down to the earth and then right foot down to the earth. As you're ready, coming to cross left ankle over right knee. Take a moment to press into your left knee and open it out to the side. This is an awesome place to stay or maybe you come to pull right knee in towards your chest, wrapping hands around your shin or behind your right thigh. You need to open your left hip. Maybe pressing left angle into right knee to activate the stretch. As your breath is flowing. Stay here for one more inhale. Exhale to release right and then left leg down to the earth. 
Take your arms out wide to a T. And as you inhale, pull both knees into your chest. Shift your hips a couple inches over to the right side of your mat. And exhale to slowly release knees over to the left. Find your reclined twist here. Once your legs have finished moving, maybe your gaze shifts over right hand. Allowing your right shoulder to be heavy towards the mat. And you release in this pose as you're slowing down. Taking nice deep breaths in and out. On your next inhale, turn your gaze back up to the sky and slowly pull your knees closer into your chest as you slowly roll onto your back. As you're ready, release your feet to the earth, shift your hips a couple inches over to the left now and come to release knees over to the right side of your body. After your legs have finished moving, maybe your gaze shifts over left hand to complete the twist. Left shoulder is heavy to the mat. You feel the sensation spiraling all through your spine. Releasing everything here. Next inhale, turn your gaze back to point up to the sky. Pull your knees toward your chest as you slowly roll back onto your back. And then neutralize your pelvis and take your knees into your chest one more time, giving them a squeeze. Maybe head comes up off the mat, curling into a tiny little ball. And eventually on an exhale, releasing your legs and arms long, coming into Shavasana. Allow your legs to be as wide as you'd like. Relaxing your feet out to either side. Shoulder blades walk down your spine as your palms come to face up. Take an inhale through your nose. And an exhale to allow the eyes to close and allow the breath to return to its natural rhythm. Letting go of all control. Allow your body to sink into the floor as if it was melting deeper and deeper. Relax your forehead, the muscles behind your eyes. The jaw, throat, shoulders, back, arms, abdomen, hips, legs. Release the whole body into the mat. And eventually, come to release any focus at all. And to just be here in the present moment, with nothing to do.
as you're ready, start to deepen your breath. Start to invite subtle movement back into the body. Dangling fingers and toes, circling ankles and wrists. Maybe nodding your head, shaking your head no, rolling against the mat. Maybe if it's calling to you, taking a full body stretch. Eventually come to roll onto your right side. Using your right arm as a pillow to rest your head. Find a moment on your side for gratitude. To yourself for showing up on your mat today. To your body for carrying you through this practice. And for this practice and everything that it has to offer us on and off the mat. If you're ready, press into your left hand and come up to a comfortable seat. Finding a nice tall spine. Again, pulling up to the crown of the head. Hands can come to your knees, or if you'd like to join me, bringing hands to heart center. I honor the place in you in which the entire universe dwells. I honor the place in you which is of love, of truth, of light, and of peace. And you are in that place in you, and I am in that place in me, we are one. If you'd like to join me, bringing some knuckles to third eye center. We'll seal this practice with the blessing of namaste. Namaste. Thank you for your practice.